it is during this ceremony that we pay special tribute to our founder, Dr. William Hooper Council. It is very fitting that these tributes are given by the people who are benefactors of Dr. Council's work. Therefore, tributes will be given by the representatives of our current students, Mr. Aaron Dixon, president of the Student Government Association, the representative of our, of our past students, Mr. Tim McAnally, president of the AAMU Alumni Association, and I will pay tribute as the current president of this illustrious institution, Mr. Dixon. Thank you, Dr. Hugini. To the Board of Trustees, Presidential Cabinet, faculty, staff, alumni, and classmates, it is an honor and a privilege to stand before you on behalf of the Alabama a and University Student Government Association as we celebrate uh, the 107th anniversary of Dr. William Hooper Council's death. Rich in heritage divine, Founded May 1st, 1875, by a former slave, Dr. William Hooper Council, Alabama A&M University. Rich in heritage divine, dynamic, progressive, strong, legacy, committed, inheritance, intimate, and excellence. These are words one is to use when describing or acknowledging the hill. Alabama A&M University, rich in heritage divine. Blessed be the name of our alma mater, whose service is oh so sovereign, whose fame shall live forever. This is our Alabama Agricultural and Mechanical University. We are thankful for those who have paved the way for our alumni and our future alumni to come. Happy 141 years of dedicated service. Thank you. Good afternoon to the administration, board of trustees, special guests, and entire audience. I am honored to bring you uh, greetings and a tribute from the Alabama A&M Alumni Association Incorporated. I stand before the grave of one of the greatest leaders of our race. It's been uh, 107 years since he left us, but today we honor him and continue to reap the payoff from his deeds and efforts. He touched so many lives that we cannot imagine. He touched so many lives as a lawyer. He touched so many lives as a politician. He touched so many lives as a pastor. And as we continue to realize, he touched so many lives as an educator. May we continue to honor him every day of our lives and appreciate all that he has done for Alabama a and University, all that he's done for the United States of America, and all the benefits that the future Alabama a and students will continue to receive. Thank you. I stand here having the honor and the privilege of serving as president of Alabama Agricultural and Mechanical University. I am the 11th president. There are 10 persons that preceded me on whose shoulders we stand today. But our first president, Dr. William Hooper Council, it's because of him that we are here in Normal Hill. We owe a debt of gratitude President Council and to his wife for their unselfishness in having a desire to create and to organize an institution for the education of our people. Today, we must continue that legacy. We must do th so through the support that we provide for Alabama Agricultural and Mechanical University. As we talk about Dr. William Hooper Council, what kind of person do we think that he would be? What kind of person was he? 
And so I am going to share with you the acrostic that I did last year, coming from the word counsel. The letter C stands for courage. Is that characteristics that he exhibited in establishing this school and establishing Alabama A&M University in 1875, just 10 short years after emancipation. O, optimism. His faith that such a school could be established in spite of the obstacles and the difficulties. U, unrelenting unrelenting in his zeal to establish a school for the education of his people. He kept that dream alive. N, N stands for normal. It's the hill, the place where this dream became a reality and this dream thrives today. C, he was a man of conviction. I, he was a man of intelligence. He was an author. He wrote books. He was an attorney. He was an ordained elder in the African Methodist Episcopal Church. L, he was loyal. He was loyal to the cause, loyal to ensuring educational opportunities for generations of normalites unborn. And L, he was truly a leader, a leader not only in education, but a leader of his people. We thank him for being the leader, for being the kind of person that he was, who never gave up on a dream, who never thought that it was too difficult to move forward. May he rest in peace. Thank you for being our founder. At this point, we will have a poem read by Ms. Davis. Ms. Davis. The Founder. The life of William Hooper Council, though unwritten, would express the qualities of true leadership to those who knew him best. He was born of slave parents in 1848. His brothers and his mother, too, were sold in spite of fate. In the state of Alabama, near our old Green Bottom Inn, he was purchased by a bidder by way of the old slave pen. In a nearby adjoining county, about 50 miles away, he labored in the cotton fields of Jackson without pay. Up there, a school was founded by Quakers for his race he entered and applied himself with zeal and matchless pace. His star led to South Huntsville, where he founded the Lincoln School. Success in this pioneer movement proved an exception to the rule. In 1874, inspired by the spirits of heroes, political offers he turned down to head up a school for Negroes. The reward was a &M College. The task was training his folk. Both started like a tiny acorn that grew into a mighty oak. By chance, he crossed the ocean in 1895 and studied European systems to help his school survive. He won a staunch friends for normal at home and across the sea. With aid from our state and nation, he enriched, he enriched the souls of the free. 171 acres plus service and sacrifice he gave to our state and its people without any mention of Christ. For 40 years, he toiled for his race with courage that led to fame. His noble deeds were wrapped in the lives of thousands who under, honor his name. From 19, 1905 to 1909, his feeble health gave way. Ex-slave by birth, plume knight by choice, he sleeps beneath the deep cold clay by Thomas M. Elmore, class of 1920.
Our choir will now lead us in one of Dr. William Hooper Council's favorite hymn, God Moves in a Mysterious Way. Reverend Peppers will now give the benediction, and following the benediction, we will have the playing of taps. Reverend Peppers. Let us pray. Almost gracious Father, we thank you for the life and legacy of Dr. William Hooper Council, and that we still today remember that man who had the foresight to build a school up on a hill that all may come to learn of all that need to do to go further in life. Now, God, we thank you. We ask now that your love, the grace of Jesus, and the fellowship of the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit be with us henceforth now and forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. To conclude this program, the class of 1966 will release environmentally friendly balloons in honor of this occasion. This concludes our ceremonies.